A San Francisco startup has a plan to transform old muni buses into rolling restrooms for the homeless. But KPIX5's Mike Sugarman tells us not everyone is fully on board with the idea. Mike? Well, Liz, you know, when you hear this, you say, what? Bathrooms on, on buses? Well, well, first of all, you're going to hear some statistics that are amazing. I was amazed how few facilities there are for so many people. There are about 3,000 homeless people in San Francisco. Showers? Yeah, they're available. Mm, probably eight to 10 at the most. For 3,000 people. That's a lot of people. Sean Norman was one of those people. Lost until he found Mother Brown's drop-in center in the city's Bayview-Hunters Point District. It has two showers. Along with the washer dryer, they're busy. Last year, the facility was used 29,000 times. You already feel bad about yourself and not being able to care for your hygiene and being in close proximity to other people and hearing how they react to your smell and things like that. It, it, it hurts a lot. The idea is to take the showers to where people are. It's the idea of Denise Sandoval, an entrepreneur who is working on building mobile showers in Muni buses. The idea was to take something that was iconic to the city, like SF Muni, and to transform it and use it in a totally different way. These wouldn't be functioning Muni buses, old ones out of service. There are 40 the system plans to junk as soon as they get new ones. Why not put in showers and toilets for the homeless? Tap into fire hydrants for water. Far-fetched? Well, so far, the city's on board. The showers will be from 8 to 10 minutes long to allow people enough time. Um, they'll be on timers, and we'll kind of just be cycling people through. We hope to be able to serve between 100 and 125 people a day. Money has to be raised. It's all private. Upwards of 150000 to begin with. She's working on that now. Sound good? Not to everyone. It seems like it would be easier to put six showers in our facility rather than um, convert buses at that high price tag. Gwendolyn Westbrook runs Mother Brown's drop-in center. She's heard about the idea and says, great, but why don't you just add more showers to the places people already go? They should take half of that and put more showers in places that already exist. So I asked Ms. Sandoval about that, and she said, well, that's still, that is a good idea, but she thinks having them on buses, Liz, would get these places to other spots where the homeless aren't. They would be moved around, and that's a better idea. And it is private money, so she really could do anything she wants with it. Right. Well, Mike, you mentioned these buses will be hooked up to fire hydrants. How does the fire department feel about that? Well, you know, that's, that's a good question. And I asked Ms. Sandoval about that. She doesn't know. She hasn't talked to the fire department yet. Mm. But... The PUC, the water department, has signed off on it. So there's a pretty good indication the fire department is okay. It's a novel idea. It really, you know, you mm -hmm. got to think outside the box for homeless. Sure. And this is one of those things. Yeah. Trying to, trying to find something that works. All right, Mike, thank you.